So today we're going to be putting the ice ripper in on a pond that we punted a few times this season. And I think if everything goes as planned, it's going to be a rock star hunt tomorrow. We've got a bunch of birds in a field nearby. The roost isn't too far away and we're going to have a nice little warm up coming on. So I'm not sure how many ponds are going to be opening up today. Um, it's going to be about 40 degrees, but we've had pond's locked up for about two weeks now so ice might be a little bit rotten but we're gonna give this a go we're gonna throw that ice ripper in this pond and let it do some work open it up and hunt it tomorrow I think this will work out really well and uh, it'll be sweet so fingers crossed we'll do what we can to make it happen we'll need to uh, get this pond opened up grass in the blinds put out a bunch of decoys in the morning. Well, we found the feed. It's hard to say if they'll be back in there tomorrow with the weather, how it's gonna be, but that is a lot of birds. Yeah. There's every bit of six or 7,000 in there, you think? Oh God, I can't. Mate, five, we'll say 5,000. I think birds are trying to get ponds open today. All the dust. Colby's thinking the same thing. They just land on the ice. Look, they got it open a yeah. little bit already. They land on that ice and then just sit there until it all melts under their body heat. You get enough of them on there, they'll open up a pond pretty quick. We've got a lot of birds in here, and I think doing this, it could get freaking awesome tomorrow. Yeah. What do you think? You filthy. Think, you filthy. think it'll get filthy? Yeah. I yeah. think so too. They're going to be looking to sit on water and loaf tomorrow that sun out so water and grass yeah they were i saw a bunch on grass today too a lot of times when it's like foggy like that foggy and kind of cloudy yeah. like 35 40 they'll just eat grass and there's no way i could film this with the lens i've got on <laughs> oh, that takes snap out of that there's <laughs> there's geese over this pond we just got here and there's geese flying over it they were cupped up looking to land but I, all of them behind us. Oh my gosh. I think this will work, but they know it's iced up. Oh so. yeah, look at it though. It's they're sort of they're working it. Oh, the corner that we want is kind of thawing out too. Yeah. Holy uh, smokes, look behind us. There's, yeah, that's a lot of birds. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, it looks like there's a little hole out there that something opened already. All right. Well, so. Typical setup for this pond. We're gonna have southwest wind again. Time to get this rotten ice off. Is it pretty rotten in there? Yeah, it's probably about half inch thick. It looks pretty rotten. It's given under your feet. You know I have a sledgehammer, right? Yeah, I'm just... So here's what we got. We got the J2 Ice Ripper. I've used it a few times throughout the season and it's kind of been really nice to have to open up some frozen ponds. Whether or not we hunt them or not, you know, it is what it is, but we've kind of put this in in this season's past. It was kind of an insurance policy on some ponds that we know we would get some birds, but we've had some better options throughout the season where we didn't have to use that insurance policy. But today, we're opening up a hole to hunt tomorrow and it is going to be sweet. So we got the J2 Ice Ripper and then we've also got this uh, Predator Generator that I bought at Harbor Freight. And I got this one. This is the uh, 4375 and it runs up to 16 hours. And I got this one because you can run two of these Ice Rippers off of it. But we got some work to do. We got a frozen pond with a whole bunch of rotten ice. Let's get this bad boy opened up. All right. 
got to step away from the generator so you guys can hear me. But we've got a nice little hole going here. Um, what I like to do when I use the ice ripper is I like to put it in, but also break up everything behind it and get a nice started hole. Uh, especially when the ice is rotten like this and it's super easy to break. That's what I like to do. And I use that ice ripper to go farther out and also eat up all the little chunks that are left over. So take a look at this and see what you guys think. So we got a bunch of ice chunks over there. That's all broken up though. We got all this open here and all that. And the ice ripper is going right there. Now if you see, there's a bunch of water that got on top of the ice. When, when you first start the ice ripper, uh, it gets a lot of water up on top of the ice. Now with how rotten this is, I have no clue what's gonna happen with that water on top. It's either gonna seep through and the ice, ice is gonna be there, it's gonna freeze up overnight, or if we're lucky enough, that water that got on top will melt that ice and we'll have a really nice looking hole in the morning. Hard to say, but we'll be tending this throughout the afternoon and evening moving it around because we're going to be hunting geese in pretty big groups so we want a nice big hole open for them but i think this will work great it's just a matter of time you can, i mean i can already tell all these little chunks they're getting sucked in from the side going towards the ice ripper and shooting out and getting melted this is working great and i'm really excited to hunt this tomorrow i'm really excited to see how big of a hole we can get open with this thing good morning we've got the pond all set up to hunt I don't know if you guys will see oh you might you can see all that we opened up with that ice ripper yet last night all that's open all this in front of the blind here is open and we got a nice little strip over there so um, the way we had the ice ripper set up it does form a hole that looks like a giant finger coming out the more up and down you put it the more of a round hole you'll get the more sideways the more long skinny hole you'll get Got floaters out there. We got a bunch of decoys along the bank. I don't know if you'll be able to see. There you go. We've got all the bulk decoy club decoys out, all the full bodies, and they're looking phenomenal. We got the Rogers A frame. We got a jerk rig today since we don't have much wind. I think we're in business. We are playing a numbers game here. How many dozen decoys did we put out? 26 dozen. We put out roughly 26 dozen decoys. Hopefully that does the job. But I can hear some geese getting rowdy. I think we might possibly have some flying soon. So let's get in the blind. There's four. Oh yeah. Coming right over top. Get the jerk rig. Keep the jerk rig going. We should shoot them as they come by. Do we want to shoot them as they come over the blind? You got to shoot those. You want. Oh. Did you get the one on the ground? Yeah, I got the one up high. So we got oh three. Well, we had some success there. We got three geese, and uh, I think they're finally starting to fly. So that's always nice. I didn't know there was another group working in. We had one land. I'm like, are you guys gonna shoot it? And they said there was another group working, and I look up, and they're right there. I really think that the open water's enticing those geese. But I'm kind of curious as to why they landed. That one that landed, Landed on the ice. Seems a bit odd to me. There's 
sick one. He said it was banded. Banded is mine. I did shoot one of those. I know I shot one of those. Well, <laughs> another band for the season. Um, that group did it right. And um, I, we, I busted off a chunk of ice here and opened up the hole some more and uh, sucked them right in. They could be jacking with us, so I don't know. The old decoy spread with the bulk decoy clubs doing the trick. They're flying a little late today. It's like 45, 50 degrees today. Sunny, light wind. It's a pond goose hunting day. You can't see nothing. Your hand's in front of it. Oh shit, I took it off already. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alex, hey Alex, I hope you know I'm gonna sleep you after this. Oh. <sighs> These jokesters. These so, jokesters. Yeah, I, I hope you know, like you legitimately made me mad, so I think I might. See so we we dropped four out of that group, so we're up to seven geese so far. Did it look real? It's good when start. I taking a picture. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Oh yeah. These will work. Oh. oh yeah. There we go. Get them low. That group came in pretty good. We shot six out of there. So good shooting all across the board here. Pretty yeah, good pretty good, pretty good for a little ice ripper, ice hole hunt. Yeah, yeah, so we've been, I've been going out and breaking up some bigger chunks and op open up the hole a little bit more. Um, I think it's helping out. The ice ripper did a lot of work while we were sleeping and stuff. So, you know, if we can make it a little bit bigger, break off a big chunk slide it under that's what's going on we'll keep at it here and hopefully we get some more to fly they're flying pretty inconsistent right now it's sunny warm not super windy so it's hard to say what they're going to be doing but we've got dead birds on the ground and that's always a good thing well we ended the day with 13 honkers on the ground i'm very happy with how this turned out just a little ice hole hunt trafficked them in they haven't been in here in a long time this has probably been locked up for i don't know two weeks or so it worked a lot of the birds didn't leave the roost which is unfortunate so that's just kind of how it goes we got i mean these are big 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 honkers we shot one that we're all like i don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference in size but like this is a like a regular goose. This guy is huge. Feet. Oh yeah. Are, feet are feet. massive. Bigger than my hand. Yeah, here. Yeah. A little size conversion. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. But that that's one big goose. But I'm happy. This worked out really well. 13 geese on the ground. I'm sure you guys are wondering what kind of shotgun shells I shoot because I get that question a lot. I've been shooting the uh, Black Cloud three inch double Bs at these geese all season long. 
and it seems to be doing the trick. Getting packed up, gonna head out. So if you guys like this hat, go ahead and click the link in the description. It'll take you over to the website. You can pick one up and help support the channel. And uh, just launched a Spoonies Bro hat and t-shirt, so check those out as well. You guys can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Number one.